Hello, good morning. It's Sunday morning and I thought I would hop on and do a live. Um, a live really based on um, experience over the last few weeks really on the level of inquiries that we've been having on properties and how the future of house hunting is likely to change particularly over the next few months. I'm Steph Evans, co-founder of My Place Estate Agents and what we're experiencing is um, portal levels are maintaining the same levels they were before all of this happened, before the crisis happened um, and we're continuing to get a high level of inquiries which is fantastic but obviously we've adapted the way that we work at my place so that we're doing virtual viewings, we're doing virtual valuations and you'll have no doubt seen our previous lives on those. But what will happen in terms of buying houses going forward? And what I mean by this is historically is that buyers um, will have booked a viewing for a property and won't necessarily have put their property on the market. Um, they'll have gone to have a look, this will have then helped them decide whether or not they wish to put their property on the market. They may then have started looking at finances and what they can actually afford. This is really not the way that is, the future is going to look. Think about it, you're not allowed to put friends and family in your house at the moment, so inviting people that you don't know into your property is going to be an even more daunting prospect. So what we're doing as agents is that we're working with buyers and we're working with our clients to look at how the future can look to make them feel at ease and safety and still be able to move on and move forward. Um, but also what buyers need to be doing to really demonstrate they are serious about buying a property and what they can do to sort of gear themselves up to really be at the forefront of sellers' minds. So inviting people into your home when they haven't got your property on the market, that's really going to be a no-no as far as we, we can see. Um, you need to have your property on the market, so you need to be a serious seller um, in order to be considered as a serious buyer. Um, you may be wondering how you can do that. As I said before, you can do that at the moment, particularly with um, virtual valuations. We can book a time where we can do a virtual call, you can show us your property and we can start to give you a guide as to what your property is going to be worth and how we can get it on the market once restrictions start to ease. So have your property on the market before you start booking viewings because you won't be able to go into people's homes, they're not going to want you in their homes unless you are showing that you're as serious about buying. If you've not got a property to sell you're probably thinking oh well this doesn't apply but you'll be really surprised how many people book viewings on a property but haven't actually looked into their finances. What can they actually afford to borrow? What level of deposit do they need? Um, if you're looking at new properties, where does help to buy fit in and how can that help for you? So our advice to you as buyers is that make sure before you book a viewing, understand what you can actually afford. Because again, being invited into somebody's home and looking around somebody's property is going to be a really big thing going forward. So you need to be confident that you can afford it and the seller needs to be confident that you can afford to buy it as well. And don't be surprised if agents start asking for this information before they book the viewing for you. Because again, you need to be demonstrating that you're a serious buyer and that you're not just window shopping or thinking, oh, well, I might just buy at some point in the future. There are serious buyers out there. We know there are. We're speaking to them on a daily basis. And that's really good and that's really encouraging. Lenders' requirements are changing all the time. So getting the right financial advice, again, is really key to demonstrating to agents and to their to their clients that you're serious about buying. Property will always move. There will always be a requirement for people to move house. I know this, I've been in the business for 25 years. There is always a requirement for people to move house. What is new and unfamiliar to us at the moment is how we actually make those sales happen and make everybody feel comfortable, which is why these simple changes and being able to gear yourself up as a well-intentioned buyer is really key going forward. I hope this helps.